Hello. Welcome to Through the Bible 365. Today, brethren, I'd like to share with you God's message on fear. Fear and anxiety can rob you of your joy if you allow it. Fear can paralyze you from what God has intended and planned for your life. So, what is fear? Fear is something that you may be afraid of or you feel like it's dangerous or it just you may feel like it may cause you some pain. Well, brothers and sisters, I'm here to share with you that God says we shouldn't fear anything. Only thing we should fear is where our soul will spend eternity. But even then, we shouldn't have to worry because if we remain obedient and steadfast to God's word, we are confident in knowing that we will spend our lives in heaven throughout all eternity. So shall we engage in God's word and get intimate with him about what he says about fear and how he protects us from it? Fear of this world. He is a present help indeed. So reading from the book of Psalms, written by King David, chapter 23, verses 4 and 5. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Brethren, the good news is God is reminding us that though you are going through some trials and tribulations, he's still with you, carrying you through. So there's no need to fear because that's not the spirit that God gives us. We shouldn't fear anything other than to trust in God, to remain steadfast and confident, knowing that he is our provider of every need. God is a present help, always. He provides us with a hedge of protection around us with his angelic angels. Our God is an awesome God who releases his angelic angels every day to provide a hedge of protection around us. 
This should give us confidence about dealing with any type of fear of something or someone. God has got our back because he's always on our right side holding our hand. Leading, guiding, and directing us through any storm. I know some of us may be going through unemployment. Some of us may be dealing with a sickness, not knowing what the outcome is going to be. But I must say to you this, brethren, we serve a God that is all-knowing, an omniscient God that knows all about your troubles. Need I not say you shouldn't fret or fear anything. Because God will take care of you in every storm, in every season. He's our protector and he's our provider. Just place your trust in God. So brother, in reading Continuing on in the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verses 1 through 3. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me, to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Brothers and sisters, the good news is, our strength comes from the Lord. Because God says in his word, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because with God, all things are possible. So, brethren, whenever you're feeling unsure or insecure, about whatever it is that you're faced with. Place your cares on the Lord. Take everything to the Lord in prayer and rest assured God will see you through it. The good news is God brought you to it. He's certainly going to take you through it. You just have to believe that, brother. No matter how low you are in the valley. God's promising word is truth. Just hold on just a little while longer. For the sun comes in the morning. You will see the light at the end of this tunnel. Because that's what God provides to us. Security. Reassurance. Confidence in his word. Of truth. Thank you, God, 
for giving me the strength to make it through this trial and this test of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Just know, brethren, God is working it out on your behalf. Because he cares for you. He truly cares for you. Because he's a compassionate God. A loving God. That you can count on and trust. So continuing on, brethren. In the book of 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy has given us reassurance, has given us hope. And what he says is, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Brethren, what God is saying through Timothy is, I don't give my children the spirit of fear of no matter what you see, of not, no matter what you feel, I give you the spirit of power to overcome. I give you the spirit of love from your heart to believe in me. And I give you the spirit of a sound mind to rebuke whatever the devil is trying to place in it. Brethren, the good news is God gives us the spirit of power the spirit of love, the spirit of a sound mind, self-control, and self-discipline. Brethren, take all your cares to the Lord in prayer. He has the power to fix it. He has the will to share with you, to show you the way. He has angelic angels that will provide a hedge of protection around you when you feel like your life is in danger. And for that pain that you may be experiencing, God is a doctor in a sick room. God is a lawyer in a courtroom. Our God is a present help in every need, in every trial, in every tribulation. He's right there carrying you when you feel like you have no more strength to go on or to carry on. Just know, brethren, as long as we are still breathing, God is still with you, helping you through it. He says in his word that I will never leave you nor forsake you. We can trust God. He's always been by our side. He's a present help. So don't fear anything. Don't be paralyzed by 
what Satan is trying to do. Have confidence in yourself knowing that if God says it, if it is his will for your life, take that leap of faith. This is the only way you're going to be able to overcome that fear. Just do it. But just do it right, just and fair. Have no fear, brethren, because God is always with us. He's always on our right side, holding our hand with his unchanging hand. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He's a present help in need. Put your trust in God. He'll help you overcome any fear from this world. Whenever we walk in the Spirit and in His presence. So, brethren, I'm hoping that God's word has given you confidence and has helped you restore the strength that you need to carry on and move forward, onward and upward. Thank you, God, for giving us peace, for giving us Rest everlasting. So, brethren, until we meet again, be blessed and a blessing to others. And to God be edified to the highest mountain. And to God be magnified throughout all the earth, through every nation. And to God be glorified to the highest realms of heaven. Peace, my brethren. For the victory over fear belongs to Jesus. Amen.